Hello, I'm Fred McNeil, and you're watching QAC TV. One of the shows we're delighted to bring to you every week, all right, is something originally started out as Commissioner's Corner, and now because of Robert Bucky's great efforts, we have something called Bucky's Report. And uh, uh, Commissioner Bucky has been here every week and doing exactly what he said he would do during the uh, election. I'm going to talk to my citizens, and more importantly, I'm going to listen to the citizens and then get back to you so we can do the right thing. Robert, thanks again hey, for Fred, coming. Hey, Fred, good okay? to see you again. It finally feels like spring up. Oh, it does. There's well, hope. I've got my... Uh, spring suit on. My spring suit on. The other day I wore... Uh, uh, Jay Falstead, I met him here at the county commissioner building, and he, he said I was wearing a honeysuckle. Is that what, what's it called? <laughs> I don't know what it's you know called. What you know what I'm referring yeah, to? So I said to Jay, what did you call me? Well, it's actually <laughs> called a, a honeysuckle suit. I guess okay. it's, uh, it sucks the sun or whatever. It was a beautiful suit. So, you know what? I got my spring suits. I'm bringing them out. By the way, before we start uh, talking submission, how did the trip go? I know you helped one of the employees move. Oh. How would that go? Well, you're being very modest, you, but you were kind enough to help an employee that's moving to this area. Help, help I, save the county, county some money. How, how did that all go? Oh, uh, I won't do it again. <laughs> okay, so, okay. but other than that, it went fine. Okay. There was a couple of hiccups um, okay. with the trailer company and my hitch on my car. It was a Saturday trying to, on my truck, trying to get the hitch straightened out. But you know, it worked out good. But it was a nice, great gesture. It was right? it, it, county it was, commissioner helping one of our new employees come here. That was that was a pretty nice thing. If there's do. a citizen out there and they need my help, all they got to do is reach out to me. Okay, all right. As long as we don't have to go to Atlanta. As long as I don't have to go to Atlanta, all we're right. okay. Okay. Hey, let's <laughs> talk about a couple of things this week. Sure. We're in the midst of budget season, give us a little update on the. Budget. Absolutely. Well, this is my first time doing a budget for a county. I've done budgets for other nonprofit organizations, and I really enjoy budgets. So. I'm looking forward to it. The county only has so much money to operate with. As a lot of people hopefully understand, you have an operating budget and you have a capital budget. So we will be working on every one of these projects in the next six weeks so that we can come before it and have a balanced budget submitted to the, to, to, to the citizens and have it approved and, and move on. Um, I, you know, again, this is my first time doing it. It's a um, big learning curve. It's a big it's time. A, it's yeah. it's huge. And uh, I tell you, I'm a real stickler, though. I'm not going to be one. I'll let you know now to let the citizens know that, you know, I don't want to see a higher. I personally don't want to see a higher budget than we had last year. Okay. I, I don't. And there's no need for that, in my personal opinion. I think we can achieve what we have achieved and continue to be lean and mean. I think the county should try to pay off its debts and then move forward. You know, the more money you have in the bank account, right, the more right. you have saved, the better you can sure. do. So I'm sure three, four years down the road, we'll have a whole lot of money that we can do a whole lot of great things. I just, I'm not very keen on indebting ourselves. Okay. I don't I don't want the county to go into debt. But the big thing to know, you and the other commissioners are working hard at Absolutely. this. There'll be a lot of citizens' input. Absolutely. Department heads are giving you input, and it's hard work. Absolutely. It's, it's every day, as I told you okay. before. Okay. Well, good. But I'm enjoying it. Oh, good. And we'll be hearing more about this, and also the citizens will have a chance to go to three public hearings later in the year. Absolutely. Uh, Ken Island, Centerville, and Upper County, where they get to, again, express their opinions with you. We, ha we had our first budget. Um, session last Tuesday. I encourage everyone to watch it on QAC TV. It was uh, with the school board. Okay, so, so it, it's got interesting early. Extremely. Okay. Hey, here's something I know you, you've you always been concerned about. If citizens have complaints in terms of, they don't think they're being treated by, whether it's by staff or whatever, you want to address that and we want to Absolutely. talk about that. Absolutely, and thanks for, for saying that because I've received several emails and phone calls over the last couple of months and I like to keep things confidential. Sure. But, you know, I'm telling the citizens now that if they have any complaints with anyone, uh, anybody from the county that they, they feel they're being bullied or mistreated, contact me. Okay. Contact another commissioner as well, but contact me and I will do what I can and I will keep it confidential and get to the root of the problem and hopefully solve it. So if there are problems, you want them to contact the commissioners, you will direct them to the right people to uh, work with and you're going to make it so, hey, the government is working for the people. Absolutely, and if it's something that they want to keep confidential and they contact me, I will keep you them confidential. Them to do that. Absolutely. Okay. Well, Absolutely. Good. Yes. okay, that's good to know. They have a friend here in the Liberty Building. They have five friends. In no, they have staff. five, but they also have one in me in District 3 that, you know, I'm not saying the other ones wouldn't, but 
this is a passion of mine. I okay. ran on this. Okay. Government needs to work for the people and not for ourselves. So give you a call. Give me a call. Email me. Phone call me. Great. Okay. Thank you. You had a big success with the town hall meeting earlier. Almost 70 people showed up at a town hall meeting you had. I think you had almost 50 emails, all types of good questions. Uh, 42 you want to e Absolutely. Yeah. So I'm having another town hall meeting. It's set in stone for May the 7th okay. between 6 and 8. Light hors d'oeuvres will be served. And I'm encouraging Where's everybody. Where's that going to be, Robert? It's going to be at the uh, Graysonville Community Center. Okay, sure. Everybody knows that, right? Okay. Correct. It's going to be televised. Okay. I'm hoping that we can get a lot of people. We had 69 people uh, there. In terrible weather. In terrible Zero weather. degrees. Zero right. degrees, 42 emails. I want to double that. Uh, my topic is going to be basically the comp plan. Okay. And basically, again, you know, how do you feel you're being treated by the county? That That's the topics. And I want to hear and I want to make corrections. Okay. That's what I'm here to do. Sure. And you encourage people to come to that meeting. Absolutely. With your questions. Please. And you will listen to them and answer them the best you can or direct them where they should get the correct information. I will get them to the right people. And how about one more time? Give us the date and the time and everything of that meeting. May the 7th. Okay. 6 to 8, Graysonville. Community, community Center. Center. Okay, great. Okay. And we hope we get a real big turnout. I that. hope so. And the good news is it will be on TV. Absolutely. So if for some yes. reason you can't make it, hey, it'll be on TV to watch. Right. Good. Okay. Uh, one of your favorite topics, economic development. You want to give us a little update on that? Oh, yeah, sure. Well, you know what? Economic development's really happening in the county. Since we fired Jamie Gilbert, I think things are really moving along fairly well. We have some new companies coming in that I can't announce yet. We have some companies that are reaching out to the county commissioners and Jamie about the bridge fund that want to do expansion. Mm -hmm. And I just believe that in the next four years, Queen Anne's County is going to grow its tax base so that we, the ones that ran on economic development, can say at the end of four years, you know, guys, we did it. Now, let's find a way to lower property taxes since we brought in, you know. One of the things I want to do, too, is if we continue to bring in the tax revenue, we need to lower the property taxes okay. for the citizens to offset it. I don't want to be this rich county that just sits there with all this money and does what they choose with it when you make promises that don't come true. So we need to keep the promises, and the economic development's helping us do that. And every meeting yeah, I've, I've ever seen you at, and certainly every time you come here, economic development's on the agenda right out front, so we'll keep hearing more and more about it. Absolutely. Well, great, great. Thank you. Uh, yeah, a procurement update. What, have we got some new rules or policies for procurement in the county? Mm -hmm. What's going well, on? As you know, I think it was one of my first meetings I talked mm -hmm. about I have been tasked to oversee and overdo yes. our procurement. Yes. We finally finished. My committee has finished our report. It's at the attorney's office now. And again, you can tie procurement into economic development, right. okay? And you can tie it into expenses on the county. I think the new procurement policies will save the county 10 to 15% in the years coming, office expenses with some of the policies that I have. It's a lot of money. Absolutely. Absolutely. And if we follow these procurement policies, they'll work. Plus, in this procurement policy, so every business out there listening to me now, we're going to create an SBE program for Queen Anne's County businesses. And what's SBE? A small business enterprise, which means they will have preference on all county contracts. Okay. So if you have a business in this county under this procurement policy, you'll have first preference. Keep it local. Keep, keep it local. Let's keep the business local. Let's keep the money local. I'm tired of it going across the bridge, and I'm tired of it going uh, east. Okay. It, I'm sorry. Go ahead. It needs to stay in Queen Anne's County. Good, good. And that's being reviewed by the lawyers now. Absolutely. And mm -hmm. it will go public with the next meeting or the next couple of meetings? I'm, I'm hoping by May 1st. Okay. Oh, we'll, we'll bring it before the about other. About a month away. About a month away, I'll bring it before the other commissioners, allow them to approve it, and we add some things to it, take out some things they might not like. And um, I think it's going to pass, though. It saves us 10 or 15 percent on Absolutely. procurement. That's not bad, is it? Yeah, it's not bad at all. Okay, good. Uh, some news on a trash incinerator. I'm, I don't even know about this. Uh, sure. What have we got? Okay, so as you know, Queen Anne's County has a tri, uh, what is it, uh, a tri-county agreement with okay. other counties where we take our trash to. Sure. Well, in about 17 years, it's Queen Anne's it's County. It's our turn. It's, it's our, our turn. turn. And they're going to do it here in Centerville. So what I'd like to do is I don't particularly like trash dumps. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're very good for the environment especially in an area like this where water is, is valuable, that stuff seeks down. I'm not an expert here, but I can imagine it's got to corrode something somewhere down Nobody here. wants a dump near yeah, there exactly. or a transfer station. So yeah. I, I'm bringing in on the first meeting in April, a gentleman's coming in from the state of Maryland. There'll be grants. We can probably pay 90% of this by state and federal monies. I'd like to see a trash incinerator come to Queen Anne's County okay. to where when it, by the time this thing gets up to running, permits, everything is done, there'll be an outside contractor that runs the facility. The county will make the money off of several ways. One, utility cost. We can make a deal with them that we get 
the county buildings, we get a cut on utilities, or okay. the citizens, or we get cash back. However, it works because they'll sell the power back to them. No, 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 it's what's generated by this incinerator. Exactly. Right? Okay. So the, the idea is to have now all the trash, instead of buried in the ground, you burn it. We're going to burn it and make energy out of it. We're going to burn it and we're going to make energy. And let me okay. tell you, the new way of burning trash is a lot safer than it was 20 it's years not ago. stuff spewing out of a chimney. It's a little it's not, different. Okay. It's a whole lot different, and okay. it's a lot safer today. And the good news is it creates energy, which will then save us money again. Exactly. Okay, exactly. Great. And that's okay. what we should be about, right? Saving money and finding right. ways to create alternate power. Okay, which sounds like a lot better than just, like you say, burning it or burying it and then figure out what we do with a transfer exactly. station 50 years from now. Exactly. How about topic that keeps coming up, YMCA? Okay. Oh. Well, well, we, we've submitted the MOU to the Y. Okay. We are still waiting on a response from them. I'm hoping that they come back with a positive response, that they, they like the MOU the way the county commissioners had presented the EO. And you, what you guys did with the new MOU, try to create a better deal for the county and the citizens, right? right. What, we, what we've done is this, instead of giving them taxpayer money, we've offered the land. Okay. And give them the land, let them build the facility, they operate it the same exact way as it was before, except that it would be their land and their facility. Now there are other clauses in there that they have to operate it if they if they don't over a certain period of time. The county has a right, you know, to, to purchase it at fair market value and so forth. But I think it's a much better deal for the citizens yeah, and yeah. instead of giving tax dollars to the fund. We we need this type of facility and the Y loves the deal in the first they, they love the deal and I just wish it could have been done this way five years so ago. So our fingers are crossed and waiting for their response. Please, right? yes. Okay. Uh, LLC <coughs> bill. What's this all about? Okay, well this is a bill that Commissioner Anderson presented, um, limited liability, uh, you know, LLCs. There's a lot of concerns that LLCs come before Planning Commission, the Appeals Board, and the County Commissioners, and nobody knows who they are. Well, to me, uh, LLCs are about privacy. Now, there are many things, but to me, they're about privacies. Paul Comfort and I have come up with a, uh, an amendment uh, to this bill that I think we could support. I don't particularly want to get into the details of sure, what they are sure. just yet, but I, I, I think that it, it's, it makes both sides happy, and I think it makes it a good bill, and I think when people listen to the amendment, that I think they'll go, you know, that makes a lot of sense to have it this way. But well, that's, Something for the audience to put on their radar scheme, the new LLC bill as it comes out. Okay? It should be coming out in about a month from now. Okay. We'll, they'll be voting on it. Now, I know you're a big supporter of the Jim Moran's or Commissioner Moran's uh, April 22nd Big Trash Cleanup Day, right, where everyone's going to get together and help clean up our, our neighborhoods and our community. You know, it's funny you said that. Yeah. Jim Moran has already picked, well, what is it, 554 and Dominion Road? Yes. Well, guess who I saw down there cleaning today? I'm afraid that's the state. Ha, the state. Oh, they uh, were down there. The state of Maryland uh, correctional people. Oh, really? Yeah. They were on both sides of the road, and that road, right. that highway. So Jim might have to find himself a new road to pick because otherwise he's <laughs> gonna get off pretty easy. All right. So he needs to take a look at that. But absolutely, I encourage everybody, every business, every citizen to step up and help out with that. And that's going to be a fun event because we end up at the crab claw, I believe, with all this stuff we've collected. And not only a great photo op, but it makes a statement. Hey, Heck, we need to work together and all this stuff. We care about our county. That's what it shows. Which is great. How about just as one more time, though, uh, your town hall meeting. How about, again, give that date and give that time, because that's important. Yes, to absolutely. May the 7th, okay. 6 to 8, at the Graysonville Community Center. And a great chance for people from District 3 to come and say, hey, look, it, I got a question. You're going to try to help them with an answer or at least direct them to the right people. Or any any one of the districts, to be honest okay, with you. Okay, they can give Yeah, right because it. as I said, the, the, it's going to be about the comp plan. Sure. So I want to hear what citizens have to say about that. That's okay. coming up for a review. Well, we're taking bets on the side, see whether you pack the house. We've there you got go. to beat 70 people, right? Well, I think, I hope I think we you do. do it. If it's I hope nice. we do. Is there anything else you wanted to talk about, Robert? You know, um, I don't think so. Okay. I, I think we covered it. Uh, it's going to start getting real busy. This, I'm really enjoying this commissioner's corner with you. Right, it's, right. It, 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 it informs the citizens over and above what they can see on QAC, but it also tells them, I think, what we're doing in the community. Well, I think I, I said this to uh, Paul Comfort. I said to Jim Moran. I said to all the people on the show. It shows that you guys want to govern not only on your Tuesday meetings, but you want to govern 365 days a year, right? Absolutely. And you're willing to share information, get it out there so you and the citizens can make better decisions. Transparency. Okay. I, everybody has a, everybody deserves to know what their government's doing. Well, we're filming this uh, right before Good Friday, so happy holidays happy to you. Happy okay? to you, too. And the nicest thing, now the shows are 50 degrees. When I started this thing, it was zero degrees outside, all right? That's right. Robert, thank you very much thank for coming Thank you, Fred. Have a great okay. Easter, you and your family. And we'll see you next week. Thank you. This is Fred McNeil. 
You've been watching QAC TV. This is Bucky's report. Commissioner Bucky is coming here every week sharing information so you'll be better informed citizens and we can all make better decisions. Thank you again. My time's up. Thank you for your time and we're going to see you next time.